Hello everyone, this is Pujita. Welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. Like, share, subscribe our channel for more videos like this. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we are going to cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific trainings, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, please connect with us. Let's start now. So here is the question from the concept of time and work. 50 workers can construct a bridge in 40 days, working 8 hours per day, but they completed 30 days and completed only half of the work. How many more workers are needed to complete the work on time by take working 10 hours a day? So whenever you get a question like this, where the workers are there and they did a little part of work and now you are supposed to add few more people, or whenever they gave you some workers and they ask you how many days the other workers will do, you can always apply a formula N1 D1 H1 divided by W1 is equals to N2 D2 H2 divided by W2. So where N is nothing but the number of workers or number of people in the first case. First case, this is first case and this is second case. But suppose see here, 50 workers are there in the first case. That means the value of N1 is equals to 50. D is nothing but number of days. Number of days they are going to take. And H is number of hours a day that they are going to consume. And W is the work done by them. Whatever is the work done by them. Okay. So firstly, 50 workers are there. They can complete the work in 40 days, but they did not work for 40 days. They worked for 30 days and completed only half of the work. So day, days in first case is only 30. 40 days they should finish, but they did not do that. After 30 days, only half of it is finished. And how many hours they work for a day? 8 hours. And how much work is done? Only half of the work is done. Half of the total work is completed. Now, next case, we need to increase some people. Okay, next case, we are supposed to increase some people. Let us assume next case, people are X. And how many days they need to take? They need to finish the work on time. On time means what? All total 40 days is there. 30 days is already completed. So, how many days is left over? 10 days. And how many hours they are going to work in a day right now? 10 hours. So, to finish it faster in the given time period, they are going to work 10 hours more or uh, 10 hours a day now instead of 8 hours. And what should be the work left over? Half of the work, half part of the total work is completed. So, remaining half part of the work is left over. So, let's just substitute it in this formula. No necessary to do any kind of other things. Just substitute it in the formula. First case 50 into 30 into 8 divided by half of the total work is the work done is equals to x number of people we did not know. So, we just assumed x into 10 into 10 divided by here also half of the total work. So, half of the total work and half of the total work will get cancelled as actually work done is same. So, you can actually cancel it here itself. Here also half of the work and here also half of the work. So, zeros, two zeros. So, two zeros got cancelled. So, 8 into 5, 40. 40 into 3, 120. So, how many people are required in the second case? 120 people are required. Already 50 people are there, right? Our question, how many more workers are needed? Already 50 people are there. In the second case, we want 120 people. If 120 people are there, then they will finish it in 10 days, 10 hours. So, how many more people are required? 70 more people? 120 minus 50? Already 50 are there. So, 70 more if we add, it is enough. So, what is the answer? Option D. So, you can always apply this kind of formula for this questions. So, option D, how many more people are required? It is 70 more people. But how many total people should be there in the second case? 120 people should be there in the second case. So, now here is a question from the concept of blood relations. So, these are called equation-based equations and they will give you the meaning of the symbols here. Uh, J at the rate K means J is K's daughter. 
K's daughter is J. J percent is K means J is K's wife. J plus K. K is J's father. J divided by K. K is J's mother. And now they has given us an equation or the expression we can say. So F at the rate or percent is I divided by E percent is N. So first what we should do, we need to decode this particular expression. By using the meanings of the symbols, whichever they has given, we will first decode this expression. Then we will identify the relation between R and N. So how do we decode? Always check first and second term first. F at the rate R. F, F is K's dot. R's daughter. F is R's daughter. Okay. F is R's daughter. Okay, so R, there is a particular person R, R's daughter is F, she's daughter, means it's a female, R's daughter is F. Next, take second and third, first and second we will take, next second and third, R percent is I, R percent is I means what R is I's wife, R is I's wife. So if R is the wife of I, I should be the husband. R is the wife of I. So, this is the symbol I use for marriage. So, R is the wife of I and uh, uh, R is the wife of I means I should be the husband. So, these both are married. And F is R daughter means F will be I's daughter also. Okay. So, I divided by E. So, first and second, second and third. Now, third and fourth. I divided by mean, E means what? J divided by K is I's, J's mother. So, here E is I's mother. So, you need to reverse it. I divided by E it is. So, E is I's mother. E is I's mother. So, the particular person I, mother is E. And E percent is N means what? E percent is N. E is N's wife. So, E is N's wife means N will be the father of I. So, this both are the uh, wife and husband and their child is I. I got married to R and they are having a child F. Now, what is our question? How is R related to N? How is R related to N? N son is I. I's wife is R. Son's wife. What is son's wife called as daughter-in-law? Son's wife it is. So, it is daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law. Okay, so what is the answer? Daughter-in-law, son's wife. I hope you understood the questions that we discussed in this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.